All praises to Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Peace and blessings to the Akim, teaching his truth in all sincerity and charity. And uh, Yahweh willing, this uh, video can edify the elect and also uh, some newer brothers, you know, such as myself, on rebuke. Because, you know, this is not the Baptist church, you know, like a lot of young Jakes grew up in. This is not that when you when you fuck up, I'm a um I'm a people just go I'm a pray for you, you know, we do we do pray for brothers, but this ain't that uh that old uh speaking softly shit, you know when you when you fuck up, is somebody just uh oh uh, oh oh don't do that um no bro you you know I'm gonna pray for you you know your ass smoking weed and drinking and shit, and that's the advice they got to tell you. I'm gonna open up with this scripture though. Um, Proverbs chapter nine, verse eight, it says, reprove not a scorner, lest he hate thee, rebuke a wise man and he will love thee. So, you know, when you get rebuked, it's important to, to accept it and understand that it's for your better. It's, it's, it's to better you, you know, and depending, depending on how you respond. This scripture will fit you, you know. This 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 will let uh this can show if you a scorner or not, or if this can show if you a scorner, or if you wise. Now let's see what a scorner. When you look up that, when you look up that word scorner, it says a mocker, to talk arrogantly, or to be inflated. We know inflated is pride. You know, puffed up with pride. So that's what we ain't gonna mention no names because it's a lot of people in Israel that get to doing that shit. When they get rebuked, they start hating. Ain't no in between. If you don't love them, if you don't love somebody, you hate their ass. So they get the mocking, they get puffed up with pride, and they get to talking ill. They get to talking arrogantly, scoffing at the elders. Okay, scoffing at the man that taught them this truth. I'm gonna I'm get this scripture real quick. This is a. Uh, this is not to be confused with Ecclesiastes. This is Ecclesiasticus. Written by Sirach, also known as Sirach. So I'm going to say Sirach. This is Sirach chapter 32, verse 17. And it says, a sinful man. Uh, uh, I'm doing a sit down. Salakia. It says, uh, it says, this is Sirach chapter 32, verse 17. A sinful man will not be reproved, but find it an excuse according to his will. Okay, so you will not be corrected. Reproof is correction. That's that, like when I, uh, with the I camp leader, he say, awa, 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 you know. Yeah. What's up? No. Yeah, it's uh let me read that scripture one more time. It says a sinful man will not be reproved, but find it an excuse according to his will. Reproof is correction. Now when somebody trying to t see because that's that that's that pride shit, you know. It's uh people don't want to be wrong, you know, like if you do something wrong and somebody lets you do uh let 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 you know when you when you erred let you know your error you oh no I was gonna do it but I was gonna wait till this happened and then I was gonna do that but no I I was that's that's what that's what uh <laughs> that's what I can't believe to me when he be saying our wow 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 because it's I was I was or as you know some people say finna I was finna I'm finna I'm no and you know I get I, I I get rebuked we get rebuked that's that's love the scriptures say the Lord chastises whom He love man. You know, we get fucking rebuked, man. This not no, oh, I'm going to pray for you. This ain't none of that little sweet, simple shit, man. We men just accept rebuke and, 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 and pray and try your best not to motherfucking, you know, do this shit again. And when you get rebuked, don't be trying to think of shit to say to, to, to excuse yourself, to defend yourself, because you got to understand if you. If you respect those men as men of the Lord, you got to know that, that that's the Lord talking to you through them. Like that scripture say, 
I'm going to uh, read that last part again. But finding an excuse according to his will. You can't be doing that. You can't be finding no goddamn it, uh, excuse according to your will. That's plain. I'm going to go to, uh, I got two scriptures in Titus, but I'm going to start at this verse. I'm going to go to Titus. This is the book of Titus, chapter 1, verse 13. This witness is true. Wherefore, rebuke them sharply that they may be sound in the faith. Now, the scripture said, now, re rebuke is reproof or correction. So it says, correct them sharply. Now, what do they mean when they say sharply? Sharply means, when you, when you look at that word in that scripture, it means abruptly and severely. So the abrupt part comes is when you go off, a brother or whoever, an elder, you know, or a, a, a higher ranking officer over, over you, that's saying that's going to catch you right then and there in your wrongdoing. It's just like when you when you raising a child. You don't, when, you, when, you, when your child do something wrong, you catch them in the act and you punish them right then and there, however you deem to punish them. You don't punish their ass later. The scriptures say open rebuke is better than hidden love or something to that effect. You don't, it say, that's, that's what that word, that's what sharply means. It's, it means abruptly and severely. So you don't, oh, I'm going, I'm going to pray for you. Oh, don't, don't do that. That's not right. It's, it's severely. And why? Because it's ultimately, so what? You can be sound in the faith. Now I'm going to go to verse nine. I'm going I'm to go down to verse nine. It say, holding fast the faithful word as he have been taught, that he may be able by sound doctrine both to exhort and to convince the gainsayers, you know, because that's the, that's the whole purpose, man. Like if you, if you're a prophet of the Lord, you know, your whole purpose is to go out there and do the work. What is the work? Prophesy. What do prophets do? Prophets prophesy, whether they, they hear or forbear, whether somebody received the message or they don't receive it. But you can't, you can't prophesy correctly for Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai unless it's by sound doctrine. Because at the end of the day, you got to convince the gainsayer, you know, because some, some, some of the people are not going to be convinced. But some of the other people will, those who are the, are the sheep are the sheep of the Lord, you know, because and the gainsaying comes in because we've been taught so many false doctrines. And this fucking devil done put a spin on it where it's so goddamn good. You get you get to believe in some shit. The, you know, you'll get to believe in some shit. And if you are the Lord's sheep, a lot of us, you know, being in captivity, we ain't been, uh, we ain't been raised properly in the, in the, in the, um, in the, in the, in the scriptures in the law of the Lord, you know? So we might, we might have our own way. We might, we, we went, we, are, we stray sheep, you know? So we'll get the game saying, not knowing, but if we are the Lord's sheep, we are, you know, we are here. We are here this message. You know, we we'll hear this message and we we'll, we we'll, we we'll forget and uh, and drop all that other bullshit that we've been taught, man. All right, and I'm gonna go to uh, I'm gonna go to this verse now. This the last verse. I'm gonna go to chapter. I'm gonna go to John. This is Saint John. I'm gonna go to chapter seven, verse thirty eight. It says, "He that believeth on me." As the scripture have said, out of his belly shall flow rivers of living water. Because, see, this is the thing, all about these scriptures that I, that I brought out, you know, about rebuke. Because if you can rebuke by men of the Lord, these are the two things you can do. You can accept it. You can correct it through Yahweh Bashi and Yahweh Shai. You can move on and you can be an example and you can teach others, you know. You could be like, oh yeah, I remember. I remember when that happened to me. Uh, you know, a younger brother. You know, somebody else. Or you could do another thing. You can swell up. You can uh, reject it, go against it, and then if you let's say like myself, you're a younger brother in the truth, or you know, the Lord has permitted you to, you know, to under to understand His knowledge. But if you don't ex accept uh, rebuke and reproof by brothers that's over you, or by uh, any brother period that's correcting you when you're going off. You're not accepting the Lord. And then you'll get to going off. You'll get to saying all type of shit. 
you get to saying all type of things not according to the scriptures. You know, the Lord, the Lord may reject you, you know, and that's why this scripture say he that be, and this this is, uh, you know, the spirit didn't allow me to get to, to this point, you know, but I was going to do a, basically uh, on this. Uh, you know, people believe in that, you know, different things about your house. I'm not going to get into it because that's not the point, but. That's why I brought out this scripture. That's what we, we got to believe on your Howard Shad. You know, we got to believe on your Howard Shad. We got to we got to believe he's going to deliver us. We got to believe on your Howard. We got to believe how we're going to send his son, your Howard Shad, to deliver us, man. That's why the scripture say, uh, 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 chapter seven, the book of John, chapter seven, verse 38. I'm going to read it again. He that believeth on me, as the scripture have said, out of his belly shall flow rivers of living water Liver, those rivers of living water is the truth of the scriptures because you know a lot of jakes you know a, a lot of uh israelites a lot of us already got the bible and read the bible but we ain't got the living water you know and out of his belly that's when it says belly it's talking about you your being your essence the inner you out of you shall flow rivers of living water. Out of you shall flow the the breakdown. For all you motherfuckers that want the elite breakdown, not according to what the scripture have said. And I want to. I wasn't. Um. I want that to be my. But I. I want to get this verse too now. That was gonna be my last verse, because you know. Let me get this. This is the book of John. I'm gonna go to chapter one though. We go to chapter one, and it says, "In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was a power, and the Word." Uh, no, Salakia. Let me read that over. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with the powers, because that's Allahayim right there. And the Word was a power. The same was in the beginning with the Most High. All things were made by him, and without him was not anything made that was made. In him was life, and the life was the light of men. And the light shined in darkness, and the darkness comprehended it not. Okay. That's talking about Yahweh Shai. You know, he's the light. He's, he's the light of the world. You know, but... If you can't believe on him, as as the scriptures have said, you in that you in that uncomprehendable darkness. You are, you you are the darkness that can't that that cannot comprehend it. You know, you he 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 may or may not have chosen you. You know, the Lord have the Lord. We was in darkness at one point. You know, the Lord called us out of that darkness into a marvelous light. Second Peter, you know, and that marvelous light is is him. The truth of the truth of him. What to say in the beginning was the word and the word was with the powers and the word was a power. You know. But, uh, yeah, man, you know. For all these, you know, brothers in the truth, younger brothers in the truth, even a few brothers that's been in the truth for a while. You know what I'm saying? Because it, it, it seems, you know, the Lord is, 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 you know, judgment starts with Israel. You know, it's a it's a lot of, you know. Especially within a, you know, because Great Millstone is, you know, got the um, the unadulterated truth, you know, and uh, ain't no, ain't no, ain't no kinks in it, you know. It's it's just it's just how the Lord got it, but you know, within Great Millstone, it's it's, it's like a, uh, in the words of a, uh, I can't remember who said this, but you know, Great Millstone getting a haircut, you know, I'm a witness to that. I'm seeing it. I'm looking at brothers that I. I've been watching their videos, the Lord, the, the spirit at them brothers edifying. And then I'm just seeing them just like go off and wax worse and worse, you know, you know what I'm saying? Going back to darkness. So, you know, it ain't time to be, it ain't time to be converting back to the old ways. You know, it's time for, uh, we, repentance, daily prayer, you know, and, 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 and charity amongst, uh, amongst brothers in the truth, man. Cause that's all you got. That's that's what that's the that's what Yahweh Shai gave us. He gave us the comforter, the you know, and he gave us the brotherhood, you know. And with that, I want to say uh, all praises to Yahweh Shai, Yahweh Shai, 
Hopefully this uh video edified the lack the lack. Um shalom.